You were both faces, but did you ever have any contact with the Ultimate Warrior? I never, I never, I know, knew Jim real well when he first come in. Worked on a lot of cards with him. We rode a bunch of times together up and down the roads and stuff, you know, and uh, try to understand him. And I never had any matches with him unless there was some sort of a, some sort of over the rope, you know, elimination type thing or something. But but never had to do any any straight up matches with him, uh, and I never had to tag tag with him or anything, you know. So. He would be always used to be on the card, you know. He, his deal was that running and you know doing all that stuff he was doing, and, and uh, he was still. A lot of guys were mad about that stiffness with him. He tried that with Andre one time. <laughs> he ran across like he, was, he ran across one time. He was doing all these candy buckets, and Andre didn't want to. And Andre just when he when he run up on Andre, Andre just shot that big giant hand out there, and boy, it stopped everything. Caught him up under the neck and chip. <laughs> It was like he grabbed a squeak toy, you know? And it was funny because Andre would have to put put him over, you know. But he'd get him, he'd stop him just real quick, like it was hilarious. He'd run that thing and do it. But a lot of the boys, you know, in the business, I'm, I'm not big on saying this. I don't like, everybody wants to get into that term, he can work, he can't work. Well, what are you talking about? It's all entertainment. Are you entertaining? Are you doing it for the fans? Because I was. Or are you doing it for the boys? Because I was. Do they write your checks? Will they book you? Will they look out for you? No. I hate that. So I understand I know I had to appease them because I was one of those guys. But I was more concerned about realizing if I get over with these guys, they'll have to follow. Yeah. So that was kind of where I was.